Welcome to session three on the first generation college students. Session three will be exploring college campuses. I am Ms. Fernandez. I am a Latinx first generation student. I am a DePaul University grad student, currently a high school counselor intern and testing coordinator at Loyola Academy. I'm also the culture club moderator for Needles at Loyola Academy. Today, we're going to take a pre test. Then we're going to talk about college campus characteristics and then resources on college campuses. And then lastly, we'll, we'll take a post test. So please take a few minutes by clicking on the word here to take the pre test. Remember, it's confidential and private. Thank you. So we're going to talk about college campus characteristics, right? So what exactly do we need to search for on a college campus? And keep in mind that every college that you are considering, these factors listed here are going to be important. So we'll start off with location. Location and distance from home, whether it's an urban or rural area. And size, size, think about do you want to be in a large setting, medium, or a small campus? Then for admission, make sure that you look into each school's requirements, such as like what's the average standardized test scores, what's the average GPA, and then the essays, uh, rec letters um application and then the application deadline like how can i apply to the school what are the requirements for me to apply to the school and then also think about what you want to study right so what major what programs does this particular college offer you know what uh average size of each class is it within these programs Right, so think about the student to teacher ratio. Do I want to be in a large setting? Do I want to be in a smaller uh, student teacher ratio setting? And then importantly, diversity, right? So the demographics of the college campus. And as well as like what organizations are there? What cultural clubs are there and organizations? Um, make sure that you are aware of these. And then lastly, college expenses. What's the tuition? What does, including in the, like the room and board. And then most importantly, what percent of students receive financial aid at this school? On our next slide, I'm going to show you a worksheet that you can simply fill out during your college search. Okay, so on this slide, I've provided a worksheet titled the College Features Worksheet. Um, on the top there, you can see under college, just write down the college that you are considering. And then start filling out the boxes below it, right? The location, the size, admission requirements, major program offered, diversity, and then college expenses. Um, use this worksheet to help you organize your college selection process. And you can also use this worksheet to narrow down your selection. It can come to one or two colleges that you really are looking into. Um, and also share this with your family, right? I think this is really beneficial and helpful um, throughout your college selection process. And, you know, it's something that you can also bring with you to talk about um, you know, maybe any questions that you may have with your school counselor. So when you're looking for characteristics of a college, there are different ways to do this. One, you're able to attend the college fair either in the fall and the spring. And two, you can visit this, the school's campus in person by making an appointment through the school's website. And finally, you're able to make a visit virtually. So there are some schools that you can visit through the uvisit.com 
and then others that are college operated via the YouTube site. Okay, so resources on campus. Um, once you narrow your college selection, it's important that you recognize that as first generation students, um, many who have gone through the college process um, were not aware of the resources available to them on campus. So I highly suggest that while you're doing your college selection search, also think about where these resources are on campus. So you're aware that, hey, I can go here for X, Y, and Z. So for example, we have the financial office, we have the writing center, health services, most importantly, the counseling office, the career services, and then know where clubs and organizations are held. So I highly suggest that you take time to search these resources and be active, be active and hopefully along um, your search. And while you are actually on campus, you'll be able to find a mentor. And that mentor can help you navigate college. Then on the next slide, I also have a worksheet for you to fill out exactly where these resources are. Okay, here we have the on-campus office worksheet. I highly suggest that you use this worksheet for the colleges that you are considering. Um, I think it's important as a first-generation student to consider that these services are available for you. Um, and please remember that any questions that you have along the way through your college process, that you contact and ask your school counselor these questions that you may have. Um, please know that also you should share this information with your parents um, and know that there are resources out there to help you. Thank you so much for listening to session three. Please take a few minutes to take the post test. It's simple, it's confidential and private. Um, and then on the next slide, there are other helpful resources for you provided by the College of Education at DePaul University.